you so much for joining me today as we put together a shaker tag. I'm using the Seaside Yacht paper pad by Die Cuts with a View, a tag die, a square die for my stash, an anchor punch, and some shaker bits. I've used a Ziploc bag and cut the shape of the tag so I can position it around the paper to get an idea of what pattern or sections of the page I want to cut. I'm using this section so I have a border along the bottom. I've also cut two additional tags. One will be for the main tag for a thicker piece since this is a shaker tag and the other is for the back of the shaker. I'm just adding double-sided adhesive to attach the two tags together. And here I have the decorative piece on top. Next I'll be cutting this piece just below the fold line. I want to cut a window for my shaker, so I'm attaching my square die. Run it through my cutter. And now I'll be adding double sided tape around the perimeter of the window. And this is on the back side of the tag. Next, I'll be adding a slightly larger piece of acetate just enough to overhang the opening. So it's just slightly larger than the opening. I use foam tape from Dollar Tree, which is thick enough for one layer. I use my trimmer to cut away the perfect length and width. Cut my second piece so I have enough to go around the sides of the window. As you can see, it's a perfect cut for the side since this is a narrow section. So now I'm just creating a well for my bits, my shaker bits. Make sure that the foam tape is below the fold line so it doesn't interfere with the fold of the tag. I've attached my anchor to the back piece. Adding my sprinkles and placing the altered tag to make sure to secure the sprinkles. Make sure nothing falls out. So cute. I cut a sentiment three times out of white cardstock and glued them together. I'm using the lower section of this scrap and placing the die partially on the blue strip for a two-tone look. Just running it through my little sidekick. And now you'll be able to see what this looks like once I remove it from the die. You could even go a little lower and get two colors into the 
sentiment. And I just wanted the blue strip. Now I'll be gluing it to the white piece. This gives it a nice thick chipboard look. Now I'll be adding glue just to the lower section of the sentiment so the top section will pop up once I adhere it to my tag. So now I'll share with you a bottle that is all dressed up with the couple's name inside the shaker. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Thank you so much for watching.